Welcome back everyone. Winter is in full spring here and the cold weather has me craving for warm, rib sticking comfort food. Today I'm making another one of these cravings I have been having, vegan chicken and dumplings. This wonderful, flavorful dish will be a hit for your entire family. Please go to the Fat Vegan Chef for the recipe. And while you're there, please subscribe to be updated for new recipes. Now let's dig into the tools that we're going to need to make this dish. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a mixing bowl, a sifter, a spoon, a knife, a blender, and a big pot. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are two tablespoons of earth balance, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one eighth teaspoon of sea salt, one eighth teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth teaspoon of white pepper, one eighth teaspoon of grains of paradise, one half cup of white flour, this is all purpose flour, three packages of the Guardian chicken strips that I have given a rough chop and they look like this. If you cannot find just the meatless chicken strips, look for the teriyaki strips. It's the same thing and just use the teriyaki packet that comes with it for something else. One cup of carrots that's been finely diced, one cup of celery that's been finely diced, one red onion that's been finely diced, four sprigs of fresh thyme leaves and I have torn off the leaves, one quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, two and a half quarts of vegetable stock and you can find the recipe for the vegetable stock at the Fat Bing and Chef. Just look for vegetable stock. One half cup of apple cider, one eighth cup of apple cider vinegar. We're also going to be making some cashew cream and for the cashew cream we'll need one cup of cashews that's been soaked for 20 minutes and two cups of water and for the sauce part of it we're going to need three quarters of a cup of the cashew cream. We'll also need two tablespoons of minced fresh parsley and salt and pepper to taste afterwards. Now for the dumplings what we'll need is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and this is white all-purpose flour. One half cup of white cornmeal that is a fine ground. We'll also need one and a half cups of the cashew cream that we will be making and one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sea salt. Now that we have all of the ingredients that we're going to need, go ahead and pause the video, shop for the ingredients and come on back and I will go ahead and make the cashew cream. Let's go ahead and make the cashew cream. Basically all you need to do is just put in your cashews in the blender, put in the two cups of water, and we're gonna blend this until it's nice and creamy. If your blender is a piece of junk like mine is, you may have to strain it a few times. Take that strain and blend that up some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this blended. So once this is blended, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and then we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next step. Cashew cream is done. I went ahead and separated out the three quarters cup cashew cream for the chicken recipe and the one and a half cups of cashew cream for the dumpling recipe. So now I'm gonna go ahead and coat the vegan chicken that I had chopped up. And what we'll do is we'll put it in a nice big mixing bowl. I'm gonna add in my spices coat really good. Now what I'll do is I'll add in the flour. I have these nice and coated so now we're going to go ahead and cook so I'll meet you over at the stove. I have my pot hot. I've got it about medium medium high. I'm going to add in the two tablespoons of vegan butter, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let this melt. All right the vegan butter is melted so I'm going to go ahead and add in the chicken mixture. I'm going to cook the chicken mixture until it has browned. Got my vegan chicken pretty much browned here. Let me go ahead and put this in a pan. Now that I've got them in a pan, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to start cooking the rest of the, the stock. I'm going to add in the red onion, carrot, celery, the minced garlic, and the garlic powder. Now I'm going to cook this until the vegetables are cooked. Onions are translucent. I'm going to add in the turmeric and the thyme. Give that a good mix. Now I will add in the two and a half quarts of 
vegetable stock, one half cup of apple cider, one eighth cup of apple cider vinegar. Now I'm gonna put back in the vegan chicken. Now I will cover this. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna simmer it and I'm gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. And while this is simmering, we're going to make the dumplings. There's a couple minutes left on the sauce, so let's go ahead and make the dumplings. First thing we're gonna do is sift the dry ingredients together. And again, that's one and a half cups of white flour, half cup of fine ground white cornmeal, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of sea salt. I have them sifted together. So we'll go ahead and add in the one and a half cups of the cashew cream. Give this a quick stir. We don't want to over mix this just until it comes together. The dumpling mix is done. Go ahead and set this aside and wait for the sauce to finish cooking. It's been 20 minutes. The sauce is nice and ready. Now what I'm going to do is add in three quarters of a cup of the cashew cream. Now what I'm gonna do is drop in the dumplings and with a tablespoon, just take and just gently drop it in there. And you want about a half a tablespoon to a full tablespoon per chunk. And what I like to do, as you can see, is I'll drop it in, move to a different spot, drop in another one. That way they have less of a chance of sticking together. And dumplings are all in. So I'm gonna take half of the parsley and sprinkle it on top. Now I'm going to cover this so I have the lid on with just a little bit of a gap here. Now what I'm gonna do is let this gently simmer for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna shut off the heat and let it rest for another 10. And then once it's rested, we'll go ahead and serve this. So I will see you back in 25 minutes. The dumplings are done cooking. So now I will put the remainder of the parsley on top. So now what I'm going to do is take out a couple of these dumplings and put some of this sauce around the dumplings. This is what the vegan chicken and dumplings are gonna look like when they are done. I really hope that you make this recipe in your home. Please let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family and follow the Fat Vegan Chef at your favorite social media site to keep updated on new recipes and tips and tricks. I would certainly appreciate it. Also, please consider donating a few dollars to keep me going. You can either do a one-time donation or if you're feeling generous, please consider doing a monthly reoccurring donation. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much and happy vegan eating.